This portion is brought to you by Pet C Zero, a non-acidic vitamin C for dogs and cats. Good morning everyone, this is Mark Lopez again, your host for Happy Pets. Today is a continuation ng ating series na nag-feature ng mga pet fashionistas sa Metro Manila. Ngayong araw na to, mag-feature tayo ng isang medyo prominent na lumalaban sa current series na contest na pagiging pet fa sa pet fashion. At ito po si Mr. Jerwin Sakdalan. Sir Jerwin, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Say hello to our viewers. Good morning. So yun. Ito si Sir Jerwin. Magmakita natin siya sa current pet fashion circuit. Medyo kakaiba po ang kanyang motivation sa paggagawa ng mga costumes niya. And since medyo iba yung kanyang dating, medyo talagang kilala na siya doon sa ating community, Nagkaroon tayo ng isang feature na meron tayong online questions para itanong sa kanya. Kakaiba to sa ginagawa natin usually. Yung mga friends niya at saka ibang mga fans niya nagpadala ng mga online questions para sa kanya, para sagutin niya. Before tayo mag-start, Sir Jerwin, let's do some introductions first. Again, you're si Mr. Jerwin Sakdalan. Yes. And then, ano po yung pangalan ng alaga ninyo? I have here my baby girl, um, Kala Beatrice. Kala Beatrice. How old is she? Uh, she's turning two sa April. Okay. And then, she's, she is a... Shih Tzu. Shih mm. Two-year-old, two-year-old, no? Uh -huh. uh, two-year-old Shih Tzu. Paano mo pinapakita sa alaga mo na mahal mo siya? Wait, alaga aso no? O oh, tama, alaga aso. Mm, alagang aso. Paano, <laughs> paano mo pinapakita sa alaga mo na mahal paano mo siya? Paano may alaga? Um, oh. For my pets, um, lagi kong minimit sure na um, at least meron akong uh, time talaga for okay. them to bond. Bonding time. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyday yon. Everyday. Okay, okay. Ikaw ba ang gumagawa ng kakaiba mong costume? Uh, most of my costumes, yes. Um, ako yung gumagawa with the help of my friends and um, my, uh, my uh, co-family um, members sa uh, Cats and Dogs so, uh, Balita ko, meron ka pang walk-in closet ako, Che? Ay, yeah. Buong kotse, parang van na walk-in closet? Um, I have a mini, uh, mini SUV. Anong part sa pagiging pet fashionista ang nai-enjoy mo the most? Yung time na uh, once na nagkikita-kita kami during uh, competition. Ah, so yung camaraderie yung with camaraderie the friends with doon the sa friends. community. Yes. Ah. So, um, we're going into our last couple of questions. So actually, this is the last question. Na saan mo nakukuha yung inspiration mo sa mga costumes na ginagawa mo? Well, inspiration, um... Uh, I think yung influence din kasi nung job ko. So, okay. Um, the fashion industry. Ka? Yes, I'm in the fashion industry. I'm okay. working in a retail um, industry. Ah. So, yun. Um, basically, kung ano yung current trends, um, then kung ano din yung mga current situation, actually. Boss, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And pagka sumali ako sa pagiging pet fashionista, for sure, ikaw ang tatanungin ko. <laughs> Sir, sure, count me in. If you have any last words sa ating mga viewers, last tips on how to become or how to start to become a pet fashionista, could you tell our, share with our viewers? Uh, well, uh, hi again. Uh, for those na gusto din na uh, sumali or maging member ng um, fashion, pet fashion uh -huh. um, community, community uh -huh. um, I think yung advice na may ko din is um, you just you just enjoy whatever okay. um, event na nasasalihan nyo. Um, trust me, hindi naman siya kailangang maging magasos. Uh, you just have to use your creativity and yung mga resources mo like your, your friends and um, yung mga old clothes, actually old clothes. Some of my costumes actually clothes ko lang na nire-recycle ko. Yun okay. Na. Okay. So that's all the time that we have for today. And please join me again for next week as we feature more pet fashionistas in the metro. This is Mark Lopez. Guys, always remember, happy pets, happy parents. AgriTV, Hayo Pangaling! This portion was brought to you by Pet C Syrup, a non-acidic vitamin C for dogs and cats.